in the future. Now, this isn't about the secret and manifestation and all this other stuff. If you think it and you want it and you will it, it will come. No, it's not about that. But it is about reprogramming your brain and your mind to get your ass off the fucking couch to go start working towards that six-pack abs or start working towards making that million dollars a month or get that damn car you want or that relationship that you want, whatever it is. What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And today, we're going to break down a very, a simple trick, a simple tool you can use immediately. Like I'm talking before this show even ends, you could start using this tool and this tactic and this hack, whatever the hell you want to call it, to improve your productivity, your positivity, your, your outcome, the way that you view and and approach life your whole perspective is going to be broken down with with this simple little trick you could do and it's it's two simple words and we're going to break it down here in just a second but first make sure you check the link down in the description below and in the pin post for the freak mode 40 it's a f- completely free it's a 200 dollars course you have access to completely for free for being a viewer of the steve egger show podcast it's a 40 day daily discipline habit challenge the freak mode 40 it includes full access to the online program the freak mode 40 it's a habit accountability challenge it's it's going to completely change you the way that you operate as a husband as a father as a leader and a man and You add these two words into that freak mode 40 and you become an unstoppable freaking force. So what are these two words? These two magical freaking words are going to help you transform to get from where you are to where you want to be, need to be, and deserve to be. These are two words that are going to help you to weaponize everything. Weaponize your victories, of course, but also your obstacles. To weaponize your weaknesses. These are two words that are going to help you flip the freaking switch on how you think and operate in your mindset, your family, your fitness, and your business. These are two words that are going to help you reframe everything that happens. An episode we had a couple weeks back about what you control versus what you don't control. These two words help you control everything, help you control the outcomes, help you control your, your judgments on everything that happens to you, around you. These two words. What are these two words? Even and yet. Listen, you take the word even and you put it before most things or you take the word yet and you put it after most other things and you become an unstoppable, mentally focused force where you have an unbreakable, a bulletproof brain that nothing can penetrate, where you're always progressing towards self-mastery, always improving as a man, driving forward towards a different, newer, better version of yourself every freaking day. Because think about it, you can always make even more money. You can always create a bigger, even even bigger impact. You can always train even harder. You can get even stronger. You can run even faster. You can get an even better time. You can do even better at anything. It limits, it, it, it cuts the limits and the ceiling off anything you're doing. There's no end in sight. There's no capping out. There's no ceiling above you when you can always get even better. You can always help even more people. You can always donate even more money. Think about that. And I got this, I I came up with this idea. This is several, probably four or five years ago when I used to do sales calls for the project. And I was talking to this guy and I'm like, he was talking about the program. I said, you're going to become a better husband, a better father, a better leader, and a better man, which the project is going to do. But he's like, well, why are you saying it as if I'm not already a, a good husband or father? Because... I think I already am a good husband and father, so maybe the project isn't for me. Now, I have these other areas where I need some help in, but if this is just for people who need to be a better husband or father, I said, okay, it made sense. And from that moment on, as as I studied the calls, because I study my sales calls and see where I'm at, I threw the word even in front. Okay, you're going to become, you can become an even better husband, an even better father, an even better leader, an even better salesperson, an even better entrepreneur, an even better man. 
And that's where it came from. And now the yet, throw the yet after something. I'm not making a million dollars a month yet. I don't have the Bugatti yet. If that's you want, I don't give two shits about a car. It doesn't matter to me. I just like a good pickup truck and whatever else and some cool stuff. RV, I'll take an RV over a Lamborghini every day. If I'm going to spend a couple hundred thousand dollars on a car, it's going to be a house on wheels with all kinds of gadgets inside of there, not just some little car that that whatever that I'm barely going to drive. Anyway, that's a whole side point. But maybe you aren't don't have the six-pack abs yet. If you just say, oh, I don't have the six-pack abs. Your mind is like, okay, you're a fucking loser. You're a schlub. You're always going to be just this fat fuck, and we're never going to allow you to get those six-pack abs. We will do everything to put in your path, to self-sabotage, to never get that six-pack abs. You're literally programming yourself to be a fat fucking loser. But you say, I don't have six-pack abs yet and you start putting yet after stuff, your brain registers that as like, oh, this is a foregone conclusion. This is where we're heading. This is where we're going. And we're going to start putting you on the path and getting your fat ass up to put those damn shoes on and lace them up and drive your fat ass to the gym so you can start losing some fat so you can have the six-pack abs down in the future. Now, this isn't about the secret and manifestation and all this other stuff. If you think it and you want it and you will it, it will come. No, it's not about that. But it is about reprogramming your brain and your mind to get your ass off the fucking couch to go start working towards that six-pack abs or start working towards making that million dollars a month or get that damn car you want or that relationship that you want, whatever it is, even and yet. It's all about your perspective. It's all about the way you look at things. And this is, this is again, you can get even better. You can always uh, think and work even deeper. You can work even harder. You can always get even more of anything. Again, faster, stronger, healthier, even smarter. You can get even richer, even wealthier, even happier. Unlimited potential when you put the word even before something and the word yet after other things. It changes your perspective, changes your mind frame. It allows you to take charge, but also reprograms. It literally rewires your freaking DNA, the, your, your freaking uh, all your brain power into positivity, into growth, into personal development, into self-mastery, into driving towards your goals instead of away from your goals when you start driving it like this. It's up to you. This stuff is up to you. Just like what you control versus what you don't control. We did a few weeks ago, but it ties directly into this. All these episodes of the Steve Ecker Show podcast, it's, it's like a, 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 an ongoing continuous masterclass. They're all piece, little pieces of the puzzle that all fit together to the big uh, combined Ver- the puzzle of you and your self mastery as a man. These are all just little pieces of the freaking puzzle. And this even yet is, is one of those small pieces that you need to plug in and boom, you start thinking this way and talking this way. It makes a change immediately in the way you think, the way you operate, the way you take action, the way you talk, the way you write, the way you think, the way you freaking exist when you start thinking this way. There's a story about a dude walk is walking into a town and there's an old dude sitting in a lawn chair at the edge of town, and, and, the, and the traveler goes up to the man, and he says, well, what, what's, what's this town like ahead that I'm about to enter into? He's like, well, what was the town like from where you came, just came from? He's like, well, the town I just came from, the people were all annoying. I couldn't stand them. I couldn't get along with them. I didn't really like them. They were bothering me. They were stupid. They were whatever, just talking shit about the place. So I hope it's really going to be different here. And he's like, well, so what kind of, what are the people like here? And the, the, the old man in the chair in the town says, oh, you're going to find just that same type of people in this town. You're going to find those, th- those same people, th- type of people are in this town. Next day, another man walks up to the old man in the lawn chair and, and he says, oh, what, what's the people, what are the people like in this town? The old man says, well, what were the people like in the town you just came from? He's like, well, they, you know, there were s- s- some good, some bad, but I always made the best of it. There was some the, people were very friendly. People were easy. I would always find a way to talk with people, try to find ways to connect with people. There was overall a great town, great people in the town. And the old man said, you will find the exact kind of people in this town. Basically, you control. You are in control of your freaking destiny, of your legacy, of your outcomes, of your impact, of your income. You are in control of all this shit. And the even and the yet is what helps you get there. These are secret little tweaks. It's so stupid, so simple, but so freaking effective. You choose what your interactions are like. You choose what kind of town you're entering. You choose your experiences, what your experiences like, 
you're going to visit a city and it's like, oh, it was cold and it was raining and it was fucking boring and there was nothing to do and it was just stupid museums. That's all on you. You go in there with a different perspective. You could find excitement and challenge and energy and cool shit to, to explore and see and experience. It's all up to you, motherfucker. If you just say, all right, I could go even deeper. I could do even better. I could try even harder. Always do the even. And I haven't discovered what's great about this town yet. So the even and the yet helps you go better, deeper, harder, and more. It helps you get stronger and faster and healthier and smarter. Like this is what it's what it's all about. Your perspective. You always and then and then you always think you want something different than what you have. It also this whole even yet thing creates gratitude. We've done a couple episodes on gratitude in the past, but it makes you appreciate the shit you have and stop complaining about stuff when you think because you start if you start even and yetting everything. You start realizing, all right, I want you have a, you have a big house. All right, I can I could always have an even bigger house. And you're like, well, my house is already pretty fucking big. I kind of like my house. It's a good house. Why would I want an even better house? All right, I don't need an even better. So it's a kind of reverse engineers it and undo some of the stuff. And you stop wasting your time and wasting your thoughts and energy, so I can start focusing some of my energy on getting in maybe even better fitness or even eat even healthier maybe instead because that's something that's actually going to make an impact than just the even better house when it gives you makes you have gratitude for what you already have see how that works like when you start breaking that down it opens up your eyes like wait a minute why do i need even this or yet this so yeah it helps in one way but it also helps reel you in just make you show some freaking gratitude and use gratitude as a superpower it also helps you become grateful for the hardship the thing I learned this week at the, at the past project is, yeah, I do my gratitude every day and I write down the things I'm grateful for. And they're always all the good things. You talk about the, yeah, the basics, the, the family, the health, the fitness, the, the pets, the animals, the, the opportunities you had. You talk about specific things that happened the day before, the, the people you encountered, the gym you went to, whatever it is. But one thing I add to my daily gratitude since, since I heard this come from someone, I forget who I heard it from, is I'll add in one shitty thing, one hard thing, one challenging thing, one thing that didn't go my way that I'll add into my gratitude. I'm grateful for that shit for forging me to get even better, to make me work even harder, to make me think even deeper on a situation. So I'll, I'll, I'll have gratitude for the shit, gratitude for the hard shit, gratitude for the fucking struggle and the suffering and the, and the crazy failures or whatever happened the day before that week. All ties into the even yet kind of continuum that goes on. And this is how you build your legacy every day. People ask, what's my legacy? My legacy is today. It's this minute. Because if I'm always thinking of getting even better, that legacy is constantly getting even better. I'm building that legacy every freaking day. And I'm putting the yet after it. It's making it better. It's getting closer and closer to that every day. So today is the freaking legacy. And we have a whole episode on just building a legacy. Go check that out. And when you start thinking of even yet, this is exactly what I, I talk about in the Freak Father Alliance, a men's mentorship group coaching program. We say, create a life you don't need a vacation from, live a life people think you're lying about, and build a legacy you don't have to wait a lifetime to start living. And you do this with goal setting, sure, with visualization, sure, meditation, all those daily disciplines you do every day. But you also attack those goals and attack that visualization with the even yet. You throw the even and the yet into the visualization, into the goal setting, into the meditation, into the prayer. You are, there are limitless. You are fucking, the potential, the possibilities, the opportunities are limitless when you start throwing the even and the yet into this, into the equation. That's what self-mastery is. Even and yet is self-mastery when you think about it. It's constant and never ending improvement, getting better every freaking day, Every day is a new you, it's a new life, it's a new freaking legacy where you're always satisfied, but you're never satisfied. How you act, talk, operate, and think determines your freaking future. It conditions your brain and your subconscious. And, and as a father, as a husband, a man, as a father, showing positivity, not freaking out, not crumbling under the pressure, having this even yet mentality, you always find the upside to everything. You're always constantly improving. You're always dealing with every situation without freaking out. You're always tying in some humor into things. We've done episodes on humor. We've done episodes on all these separately. We've done episodes on the freak father. Go check out all those episodes. These all, again, don't forget, tie into each other as pieces of the puzzle. We talked about recently what you control, what you can't control. And you can control everything when you add in the even and the yet. It's up to you and your decisions in your brain as a freaking man. 
So the way to kickstart this is join the, the Freak Mode 40, the, the 40 day daily discipline habit challenge. You can register down below in the, in the comments, the pinned comment, also in the description. Completely free, $200 course just for being a viewer of the Steve Ecker Show podcast. So check that out and do even more this week. Be even better, move even faster, get even stronger, be even more fucking awesome. And in case no one told you to say you are fucking awesome, no excuses. I will see you next time on the Steve Ecker Show podcast.